Okay, what's going on everybody? My name is Mang, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Bloodborne on the PS4. And, uh, yes, if you're looking and can tell, I have a lot of souls. I have 40,000 souls in hand, as well as I have this emblem, which costs 10,000. So, yeah, you might say I did some farming. Not as much as you might think, although I don't know what you're thinking about what I did. I'm not sure. It didn't seem to take that long. It was quite enjoyable, really. It was a, it was a good farm. Um, I also have a, uh, a plus three threaded cane, which I guess now I kind of debate about doing because I could have probably gotten the blades to plus two. But there will be plenty of time for that. I'm sure we'll be fine. So... Uh, also, if I can go to the storage, I have, yeah, I have a lot of blood vials. I have, um, 119 total. And I actually had, I, if you counted everything I had and picked up, I probably had like 180 at some point. Or that, that's pretty much how I, how much I have had. But you can't have more than 99 in storage and 20 on hand right now. So, I actually sold a lot of blood vials. Uh, I sold at least 60, I think. Um, because every time I did the run, I'd get anywhere from 15 to 21, 22. So I just sold 20 of them for like 800 souls, and <laughs> you just picked up more of them. It didn't matter. So we're maxed on that. Not quite maxed out on Quicksilver bullets. And I guess this is a good indicator of how many runs I did. Because, like, really... You're guaranteed to get, like, four bullets every time you did the run from the guy in the wheelchair. Occasionally, you might pick up two uh, on some other mob, but generally, it's that four every time. So, yeah, I did quite a few runs. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We also have a few Molotovs, just in case. And, actually, no, I want to I wanna take them. How do I take them? Give me those. Okay, anyways, so yes, we have everything we need to hopefully go and um, get the Blades of Mercy. So we're going to head to the Cathedral Ward. Again, I don't, this is not confirmed that she's going to be there once I open the gate or anything like that. I don't know how this is going to work. I'm just kind of hoping. Um, and I got to be kind of careful. Because I am carrying around 40,000 souls. <laughs> Um, I, I could level up quite a bit with this, but you know, we have, we have our goal and we're going to, we're going to achieve it. So I could potentially die once, you know, and not be too worried. Um, but you know, if I die once, then I got to be extra careful, but uh, you know, I'm a professional gamer. I think I can handle myself. All right. So, <clears throat> gonna head down here we got these yahoos well there you go try to cane's pretty decent there we get some more bullets which is good because if we pick up blood vials we, we can't pick up blood vials I'm not sure why they even need to put a cap of you know 99 on it on storage like what's what's the point just let me pick up a thousand of them who cares see now nah, that one just sits there i can't pick it up unless we do that and recover like one health whatever we'll grab this new armor set uh we'll keep that I, I actually like that the the uh the brotherhood of the wolf helm over the top hat that's a cool looking set That's weird. If I'm not mistaken, I would have died there. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so this big guy, he scares people when they first see him because he's big. He's real big. Um, but they're not too tough because they're very slow and they make slow attacks and you just kind of keep stabbing them and roll unless that happens in which case you know you know yeah 
she did. Bloodstone shard, very good, very good, very good. And then we're gonna head up here. With all them souls. We're gonna pop this open. Okay. So in this big courtyard here, this is apparently where we'll see Eileen. But there's two of those huge guys. I don't know if we have to like... I don't know what the trigger is. I really don't. I really don't. This guy's a flamethrower. This can very easily kill you if you get caught in it. We don't want to get caught in it. But he's also very susceptible to backstab. Which we will do. Like so. More bullets. The cold blood. Good, good, good. More souls if needed. Okay. Now, again, I don't know... Like, it, it might have been the trigger of opening the gate, which will cause her to appear next time. I'm a little unclear on that. I'm pretty sure that this is where I read that the, it occurs. I don't really want to waste, you know, time killing these guys. risk my soul. Yeah. Whip them. That's actually not as not preferred because I don't want to attack twice. <laughs> Use all the blood vials. bloodstone shards. I guess it's worth it then. They don't give me any souls for the effort, but we're not in desperate need of souls. All this madman's knowledge, which I think I talked about, raises your insight. Which we don't really need. Um, whoa, that could have hurt. That did hurt. You too slow. Whoa, could have rolled into that. Didn't roll out of that. So, she doesn't seem to be here, and uh, so what I'm going to do, I guess, is I'm going to go back to the Hunter's Dream. We'll come back here. If she's still not here after that, then I'll look it up. This is really important. This is like the main, the main point of this run, is to get these blades. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'll explain that. That little vortex thing that's happening. Um, if you did watch my... Um, this might be a bit spoilery, but if you're watching this playthrough, I assume you don't really care too much about spoilers. Um, it, well, it's not that spoilery. It's, I would have liked it to have been spoiled to me. <laughs> um... If you watched that video I did from my first playthrough, the little montage thing, there was a part in there where I went to a locked door and then suddenly like a vortex just like that appeared. I got grabbed by some invisible creature and I died. And uh, that can apparently happen at random places and it's supposed to scare the shit out of you. I never saw it in that little area right there, um, but I recognized that vortex because it scared the shit out of me when it happened to me. Um... So I think if I just stood in that vortex over there, I would get grabbed and died. And so I don't want that to happen. I don't know. That could just be some other thing, but we're not about to find out. Okay. Cool. 
will I will look. Because I think, I'm pretty sure I read that the trigger for this is opening that gate, and then she'll in, be in that courtyard, and uh, you can continue her quest, and she'll fight a hunter there. And that's where she's supposed to die, so we can get the Blades of Mercy. Once again, I am talking through loading screens, but I don't care. Eileen. Uh, yes, Eileen the Crow. So we're going to go back down here, kill these two yahoos yet again. Like so. Ooh. Keep it full. Just checking, just checking, just checking. Okay. Next to a fenced off ledge at the front exit to the Cathedral Ward Lamb. After exiting the doorway, turn left. That's over here. Oh. Okay, so maybe I have to talk to her over here. Exiting here, turn left. Unless this isn't the front exit. Pretty damn sure it is. This is a side entrance. It's off to the side. Right? Did I not, like, continue the quest? Like, what else was I supposed to... I talked to her a bunch. Maybe I should go talk to her some more? Okay, blah, blah, blah. Directly in front of it, and immediately looking left. Okay, maybe I... I, oh, I could have sworn I saw her. There. She'd be right here. She's not here. I guess we'll head back to where she originally is, but it says she'll disappear after fighting Cleric Beast. It's gonna be like that. She would be in our sight line at this point. <sighs> hmm. She will not appear in this location until you have opened the gate that is upstairs to the right from this spot. Oh, that location. Oh, okay. So we do have to just progress normally and open that one. Well, shit, I don't want to do that. I have 44,000 souls. <sighs> All right, we're going to have to just be real careful. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are going to love this. The tension is on. Okay, so we want to go... Let's see. No, we want to go this way. No. This leads to central... No, this leads to old Yarnum. How? No. I have only played through the game once. I'm still learning the areas. I'm almost certain that leads to Old Yarnum. This, I thought, just leads to, like, items. Yeah, we don't want to do that. And actually, the big guy's probably following us at this point. He's not. Good. Yeah, 
just do that over and over. AI! <laughs> oh shit. Damn crows. Let's just keep. Good. Now you die. Whoop. Okay. These guys are not the problem. The big guy is the problem. You'll see. I actually might not even fight them. Because it's not really worth it. It's never worth it. Monocular, which we probably won't ever use because we're not epic name, bro. More shark. Okay, so yeah, we'll be able to get the, the blades to plus three pretty easily. Yeah, this guy. He's a big guy. He's got a big hammer. It's dangerous. It hurts. It'll kill you. Five. Yeah, okay. I get it. No, you. If you're not in the know, uh, those little things basically replace, replace the crystal lizards in this game. Run down here, run down here, run down here, open this. I don't think there are any mimics in this game. I checked every single chest that I found, and uh, I never, I never found a mimic, so. Maybe there's a hidden one somewhere just to fuck with you, but... Not that I found. Like, that that's it over here. I'm pretty sure that's it. You just get the bloodstone. So... I'm pretty sure Old Yarnum is just to get the Blood Crazed Beast. Which is an optional bot. Like, what is the purpose of Old Yarnum? I'm trying to remember. I want to go. Maybe we do want to go that way. It has to be this way. There's really no other direction that works. If you don't want to just go to Old Yarnum, which we don't. Damn crows get whipped. Ugh. Up the ass. What the hell? What the hell was that? I was searching the corpse. Why the hell did he sit? Why did he sit? Oh my god. Don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. Yeah, there's just a bunch of uh, people that don't like you. They don't want to talk to you, so they don't talk to you, so on and so forth. There's also going to be gentlemen in this alley. That wish to do perverse things to you. I think if I if I knock on this door, that guy didn't wake up. I'm surprised. Well, you can die then, or I can die either way. Yeah, this dude's got like a rake. Why? Because screw you. That guy's got a gun. He's got a gun, man. Not so kawaii now. 
There's a black church set, which looks like ass. Well, no. All right. Subjectively, it looks like ass. Some people probably dig it, but that's not my style. Oh, you sons of bitches. All right, let's be more cautious than that. This is the benefit of the whip. You just whip things. Although that's the downside of the whip. So we saw the benefit and the downside seconds apart. What's up, Brett? Oh, ow, damn. Rose. Owned! That's a sweet attack. I didn't even know about that. Anyways. Moving on. <sighs> so many souls. Like, I wish I was in, uh, okay. <laughs> Sacred adage of the Grand Cathedral. I wish I was an expert on this game and I knew how to open... Oh, wait, no, I know how to get over there. Yes, I know what to do. I know where we need to get, so we're just going to try to bum rush. The, um, the drop attack will actually screw us here. We don't want to do that. we won't kill it with a drop attack and it leaves us very vulnerable so it's not a good choice okay we want to actually well we can pop open this gate i think that's not a big deal but we want to go this way and we want to open it this and that is what we needed to open apparently there's the wooden shield uh, if you were looking for it that's the wooden shield Maybe someday somebody will make a wooden shield build, but I, I it's just a joke, man. It's just a joke. Okay, so now that we open that, we're going to run over here. We're going to return to the Hunter's Dream and come back. I'll edit it out. Okay. And actually, according to... I don't know why I thought it was in that grand courtyard. Uh, according to what I looked up. Oh, hello, the, uh... I'm near the tomb below Erden Chap Henrik. And he... Don't go near... I have... <laughs> don't go near... I have... <laughs> okay. So it says... No, I... Hmm. Okay, so... Fine, I'll talk through this one. She seems to imply the tomb below Odin Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. Which is kind of, it sounds kind of strange, but she's referring to where we fought Father Gas Gascoigne. Because that is the tomb of Odin. Let's see, which is where, uh, I guess, not function at the time. So we actually have to go... See, that's because there's an encounter there. So we're actually going to go back to Central Yarnum and we have to run there. So I guess that's a good hint as to where it is. But, because uh, you're in the Odin Chapel, which is, that's the that's the chapel that you're, you that lamp is in. Maybe you all understood that, I, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, this is actually alright, because I can show you the route that I took for my farming, for anybody curious. It's not... I mean, it's not uh, spectacular for farming souls, except for maybe, you know, early on. Um, but I think it is pretty decent for farming uh, health vials. So you'd run over here, kill this guy for the hell of it. Occasionally he drops something. Probably. Usually not, but there's an extra blood vial. Then I would kill this guy. Again, usually nothing. 
kill this guy who always drops almost always I think I saw him drop like a blood shard once but he usually drops four bullets that guy didn't drop anything run up here kill this guy again pretty much any of these guys have a small chance of dropping um, blood vials then I pulled these wolves and uh, I just cheese them every time you can use pretty much any weapon you want to cheese them, but uh, I kind of switched around to discover what worked best. I, I like the whip. And actually, I didn't even know about this jump attack. Probably not the fastest way. You know, you can do all sorts of stuff with the whip. Just keep your distance, you won't die, and so on and so forth. You can whip them a few times, blah, blah, blah. And uh, they usually, usually they'll drop three blood vials apiece, so that's a good amount. Um, sometimes one of their corpses will, like, fall down or something, and you'll disappear, but you still get the souls either way. Then I'd run over here, and I would take care of these two guys. Who, uh, at this point just require... <laughs> God, if I died at this point. If I died at this point... Yeah, I died. Uh, alright, that's not terrible. Um, that, well, it is terrible, actually, because there's no way that should happen. But that's what great, that's what's great about these games, you know, it's no matter how cocky you are, no matter how powerful you think you are, what you can handle, games will always find a way to just sh push your shit in. Um, now if I die again, before picking up my souls, then we're pretty much abandoning this run <sighs> no I wouldn't do that I wouldn't do that but I'd be very very upset it would probably be the end of the video at the very least <sighs> anyways we will uh, we'll try that again I won't kill the wolves again because it's unnecessary but kill this asshole again we can't let him live I see he dropped some bullets that time so on and so forth That's usually what I did every time. You just dodge this one, get in close, do the thrust. They'll always counterattack with this. You take a step back, kill him. Okay, and they would generally drop two, although I saw once, one time, one of those guys dropped four. I was quite amazed. Then I would operate this elevator. You might be able to, when you get to the top, hit the button and roll out again. I never tried it, though. I didn't want to waste the time. Although, in the end, if it worked, it probably would have saved me a lot of time. I won't attempt it now. Yes, that is how hair works when you're on an elevator. It just flies straight up. Okay, for this, I actually never once died to the flaming ball. So that was good. I would just kind of uh, do this, and then I would generally risk my life. I'd run. I, I, w I didn't risk it as much as I normally did here. But I would try to. I, I'd make a little game out of it to see if I could get all of them to be die from the ball. It worked us usually. I don't know why I'm picking. I guess I'm looking for blood shards, even though I don't really need those either. I don't need any of your shit. Kill this guy who also will drop two most of the time. This guy occasionally drops one. Yep, see. See. Then this this is probably the most dangerous, but this is where I died a couple times, is fighting these two. Um, because that guy with the spear, his range still s s amazes me. Um, but using the whip attack, generally not a problem. And they also generally drop either blood shards or... Wow, that's amazing. Or blood vials, usually. Okay, and up here, we should have this encounter between the two. Um, this is the bad guy, right? Yes. Where is she? I don't want to fight this guy. That's not what I'm about. 
No, oh, really though, where is she? <laughs> You're supposed to be- This is your encounter, not me! I die to this guy, I swear to God. Eileen! Come on, Eileen! Oh, they're fighting. Okay. So, we want her to die. So basically, we're just gonna, like, watch. He should be able to kick her ass pretty well. Unfortunately, I don't get to see her health bar. Wow. Getting wrecked. If he wrecks her, what are the odds I can finish him off? I'm really just risking my life, then. Either way, they'll both probably be pretty low by the end, unless Rileen really gets wrecked. He's not really getting wrecked. Wow. She got shrecked. <laughs> and he's not going to be happy with me, so I don't ever want to fight him. Shit, shit. Shit. Run! I will fight you once I don't have 53,000 souls. Wah! Yes, I don't, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think he's even coming down the ladder, but god damn it. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so we have the Crow Hunter badge. Eileen fought that, I'm like, man, she got wrecked. I had so much trouble with her. That guy just destroyed her. But good for him. He was actually a team player, even though he wanted to kill me horribly. And he would have. I think hunters, like, for my first playthrough, like, those enemy hunters gave me more trouble than any other enemy in the game. Um, especially one that will come to fairly soon. Um, who basically operates like a giant Gatling gun. And the Gatling gun part is just, that, that's what, you just kind of have to run around the area and dodge it. But once you actually climb up to her tower and fight her, oh man. Controllers were about to be thrown. Like, I, I just couldn't do it until finally I managed to just cheese her and she fell off. And I was so freaking thankful. But anyways, let's pick up our weapons. Finally. Shubbed up. Blade of Mercy, 40k, done! That also lets us buy the uh, the Crow Feather set, which is her armor set, which we will probably buy at some point so we can basically become Eileen. It's cool. It's cool, man. Woodcarved Mask of Eileen the Crow, Hunter of Hunters. See, she's the Hunter of Hunters. She has to die. I don't want to be hunted. First Hunter of Hunters came from a foreign land. Gave the dead a virtuous native funeral ritual. Huh. Okay. Interesting. No one in particular for a crow feather cave. Yeah, that's the coolest thing. We have to have that. Alright, let's check them out. Blade of Mercy. We'll also put the we'll put the cane still on our offset, but okay. So there is the uh the, the regular blade. It's basically a shorter version of the cane, which is not great. There it is. There's the charge attack, which is cool. You, like, shift it in your hand. And you do, like, an uppercut. I like that. That's a cool attack. All right, there's the uh, dash back. Quick little cut. The running attack is a big thrust. That has its uses. There are running R2. Ooh, nice. It's around your back. I like that. Hold on, let me do that again. That's cool. Okay. And then is there a follow-up R2? No, not really. Okay, and then if we hit L1, boom, we break them in half, and now we are dual wielding. And so that's the R1 spam, which is guaranteed to stagger many a foe. Um, but it does have an end of the combo. It's not an unlimited combo, okay? The R2 attack, there's no charge. It's just a double slash. Okay, similar to the R1. 
Oh, that's the dash back R2 attack. That looks cool. And then the running R1 is another kind of thrust. And then the running R2. Very cool. So there it is. So this is going to be our main attack that we use. Just kind of the spam. That should be able to finish off many, many things. Let's go, let's go upgrade these. Get some gems in them. Fortify. Shablip. Shablip. And done. Good. And we are going to pop out the red blood gem from those. Put it in here. Actually, we want to do this and this. The red blood gem that we got, the special one, goes in any slot. Uh, but the tempering blood gemstone, that is like a, a star shape. So that only goes in the star shapes. So that one boosts physical attack up by 1.1%, which is small as hell. But there it is. And then the red one is 27 so it's good. Okay, last thing then about the blades is they are a skill weapon, as you can see. They do they have B scaling and skill right now at plus three, but they also have D scaling and arcane for some reason, which is really strange. And at plus ten, these will be S scaling in skill and B scaling in arcane. So we wanna our skill skill is still our main thing, our decks, but uh, we are gonna be putting some points in arcane. I honor and I, you will have to Yes, and I will level up. Thank you. Very well. Finally. All right, so our skill is at 15. So if we go here, we can see we can get... Okay, we can level up eight times right now. So that'll boost this up to 147 if we did that. Yeah, you can see with Arcane, it levels up much slower in attack. Five points only gives us two attack. We'll bump this up to 10. This up to 10, 20, done. Farewell. And then we will, da, 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 we have some cold blood we can use. Might as well. Welcome. Level up maybe a few more times. Yes. Da, 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 da. Two. Yes. Although, actually, maybe Endurance, eh, we'll do one of each. Okay, level 20 now. Good. And uh, let's go kill some stuff just to see how they feel. Let's head back to the Cathedral Ward. Um, you may be wondering what you get if you go all the way through Eileen's quest line. If you don't let her die. Um, you get... Let's see here. This, I mean, it takes a while to finish her quest line. But you get... Um, if you help her beat that guy at the tomb, you get another gesture, the approval gesture. And you get uh, a rune from the guy's corpse. Um, and then if you finish her quest line, you do get the Crow Hunter badge. And then you're, uh, you're offered to join, help, uh, join the Covenant. Um, the Hunter of Hunters Covenant. And I, my first playthrough, I didn't get any covenants or anything like that, but the, the Hunter of Hunters Covenant is obviously, as you can imagine, focused on PvP. Okay, so let's go beat some shit. Yep, that's as expected. Obviously, damage is much less than my uh, cane, but... You know, this is all about mobility, and uh, I'm sure the damage is going to get pretty crazy. Let's try the big guy, which will probably not go as well. Yeah, because he, he doesn't... He's not going to stagger. Although, apparently, they can be staggered. I don't know how. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I thought I dodged. All right. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm not really good at fighting these guys either way, but these blades will require some effort. 
to learn. Mm-hmm. Fight this, the big fat guys. Might be just be like, man, it seems like it's just taking longer. You might be right. But they're damn cool. Which is less cool. But arguably more effective. It's cool either way. And it's not like we're only going to use the, the dual wheel mode because I do like parrying occasionally. But, uh, yes. Oh, that's the other thing I didn't talk about is there's, uh, there's, uh, transformation attacks. So if I attack and then hit the transform button, uh, he'll do, she'll do an attack, which, while transforming, which is cool. Anyways, I think that is going to wrap up this video. Um, we accomplished a little bit of stuff, but the most important thing was we got our blades. So, yeah, things are going to get uh, pretty crazy. And next goal is to get the, the crow feather set. That'll be really cool. But, uh, yeah, so... Our next step in the actual game, though, is to go to... Old Yarnum. Which again, if I understand it, is basically a completely optional area. As far as I realize. Um, which is fine. We're still going to do it either way, but I guess keep that in mind. Yeah, anyways. My name is Mang. Game you're watching is Bloodborne. I'll see you in the next part.